getting rid of sugar cravings. It works really, really well. What you want to do is you want to understand what your mind does and I want you to think about your mind like a filing cabinet. Okay, it's like a filing cabinet and it has different files in there. There's some files for foods that you think are great. There's some files for foods that you don't really care about. There's some files that you have in your mind for foods that are gross. What we want to do is we want to identify the foods that you naturally think are gross. And then we're going to take the foods that you think are really yummy, but that are keeping you stuck or fat or having diabetes or whatever. We're going to take those foods and we're going to put them into the yucky file. So here's how we do it. First of all, I want you to think about some kind of uh, food that you're really having a craving towards. Imagine some kind of food that you're really having a craving for. It could be cookies, it could be brownies, it could be carbs, it could be anything. I'm going to just kind of pretend that it's cookies. So I want you to imagine the uh, plate of cookies, a plate of uh, chocolate chip cookies, and it's standing right there in uh, front of you. And you imagine the cookies. I want you to imagine them in your mind and notice where they at. Do you imagine seeing these cookies right in front of you, for example? Is it in color or black and white? I want you to just kind of notice the attributes. Is it a small, medium, or big image of the cookies? Is there any sound? Are you hearing the cookies say, eat me? <laughs> if you bring the cookies closer to you, does it seem to intensify the desire to eat them? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Just be aware. Just think about those cookies. Imagine them in your mind. Great. Now what I want you to do is I want you to just go ahead and watch my hand. Okay, good. I'll explain that later. Now what I want you to do is think of something that you can't stand. Something that's gross. Something that makes you kind of gag. That's like, ugh, just whatever it is. Maybe it's liver. Maybe it's Brussels sprouts. Maybe it's uh, vomit, <laughs> or maybe it's old garbage, or sewage. Think about something that's just really gross, that makes your stomach flip a little bit, that makes you just kind of, ugh. Think about it for a moment. The more you get into this, the more it will work. Think about something that's just really disgusting. I had a nurse I was working with, and she came up with some really gross stuff. I'm not going to share with you, because I don't want to ruin you that bad. <laughs> but I want you to think of something. You got it? Think about something that just makes you gag a little bit. Now, notice where that is. If you were seeing that in front of your mind, whatever, let's just pretend it's liver. Imagine you can't stand liver. Maybe it's cold liver and it's just, ugh, it's just gross. And I want you to imagine that um, maybe you see it and it's kind of over here in front of you. It's not in the center where the cookies were. Maybe it's over here. And I want you to imagine that, that, uh, it's in black and white and it looks cold and flabby and it just really it's kinda like gross you don't really hear any sound but it's just dark maybe gray and as I bring that closer it makes you go ugh. just imagine that until you get that yucky feeling inside good now, I want you to imagine taking the cookies and sliding them over on top of the picture of the liver and squishing them together. Make the cookies look gray and quiet and cold and bleh. Mush them together. Imagine you put them in a blender and and you pour yourself a glass of liver cookies. Now I want you to imagine taking that image of the cookie and bring it close. How's that make you feel? If you find yourself literally going, ugh, it's working. What we're doing is we're making the image of cookies seem gross in your mind. If it seems gross, it requires no willpower at all to eliminate the craving. It's just gone. It's not there anymore. Do you have a, a, a feeling at all, a thought of all about wanting that thing that you were imagining earlier? If you did this right, you're probably going, no way, ugh, no thanks. Now. I want you to realize that this technique works very, very effectively. You are simply thinking about something that's gross and then you just kind of imagine mushing it in to the thing that you were craving. So it becomes the same. You imagine taking one of those cookies now and opening it up and it has little pieces of liver in there, little pieces of vomit in there, little pieces of, of uh, litter box or whatever it may be. 
You imagine thinking of the thing that you used to like, but it has the same smell of the disgusting thing. And you bring that in and you find yourself going, ugh, just naturally. It's an aversion technique and it works really well. Now, here's a couple of things about this. One, this technique will work and it'll last for quite a while. But if it starts to fade away, see, we don't want to get rid of cookies forever. Cookies aren't a bad thing, it's just in moderation. It's just that if you're feeling out of control or you're starting to get into your, where you're craving it or you're starting to eat too many cookies, you know how to turn that off now. You just imagine mushing it into the liver again. So you have the technique. It's not something that's going to last forever, but what we're doing is we're showing you how to take control. That's the real message here, not the technique. It's that you know how to use your imagination to get into control so that you know how to turn off those feelings and create better feelings. What you may want to do is get a plate of, of healthy vegetables or a wonderful, beautiful salad. It looks like maybe um, or a bowl of fruit that they ship from Hawaii and you put that there where the cookies used to be. And that becomes healthy and yummy and vibrant and colorful and mmm, that makes you feel good. So that's how you create new cravings for healthier food. Now sometimes people will say, yeah, well, you know, that's not going to really work at home because I thought about liver and then I ate the cookies and, you know, they tasted great. They tasted just like cookies. That's not the point. You can override this and sabotage yourself any day of the week. But that's not impressive. That's stupid. So we don't want to do that. What we want to do is make sure that you are using your strategies to get what you want. I'm not impressed by anybody that can say, hey, look, I totally sabotage myself. That's not impressive. That's immature. What you want to do, do you want to impress me? Use your mind to get what you want. That's what will be impressive. That's what's going to impress you because you'll learn these little tricks, these little strategies that require zero willpower. As you use your imagination correctly, you'll find that you can instantly turn on good feelings or you can turn off feelings that have been holding you back so that you are in control. So I want you to play with this technique, watch this video again just so you get the idea and it really clicks. If you have questions about anything, you can always send us an email, tim at suresuccess.com. That's spelled S-H-U-R-R success.com. Or you can give us a call, 877-944. 4673, or you can visit us on our website, timsure.com, which is right there on your screen. So use this technique, and I'll be ready to share the next couple of secrets with you on the, on the following video. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you soon.